I mean, like, we, we try to keep it as authentic as we can. Because, uh, like, I would never have lived in a tent, well, I would never have lived in a wagon, but for to see the women actually recreating something like that was fantastic this morning because it gives them back something. Like, they're older women and I suppose their, their family, family's reared. And sometimes their experience really isn't valued. So for them to come in here and recreate this, for us as even younger traveller women, to see them doing it was brilliant. And it was a great laugh because we had a good laugh with one of the fellas that came out with us. I was reared in a tent and went from the tent to the wagon. My family was reared in the caravan then, the wagon. We need the houses then. That was the last end of his story. So we sleep in the straw in the tent. Very happy times. This kettle is a bit small, but we used to have bigger kettles. A lot of our families now can't even remember they don't the know younger what, ones that they can't even what remember. What the older so ones do. But the younger ones don't remember. And, uh, I can't believe how we used to manage and this, how we used to rear families in this. How we used to cope with things, which was a way of life and we got a lot of cope with things. And to document the whole thing, like everything you see around the wall is proof of documentation. Since 94, when we were funded, we were we found out we, we were funded, we were going to be funded to recreate a life-size barrel top wagon. So everything in the room you see is has start to come after the, the, the making of the, the bar top wagon. Our mayor. This, this project was an art project that was taken on by the Blackpool, the young Travers from Blackpool. It's a group that meets uh, once a week and they were trying to come up with an idea. Like they were saying to us, we'd love to do something for the, the room and the museum and we were saying, just have a think, brainstorm between the group yourselves and come back. To us. So they came back then with, with the idea that they'd do the body of a horse and then collect photographs from all over, the tra from travellers all over the city. And modern ones, old ones, and to paste, paper mache the photographs onto the horse's body. And then, like it's, they've done the mane and the tail. And it, it's, it's actually really looking. And the one thing, interesting thing about this is like, people that have seen it are just taken, taken by the idea of making a horse's body but then using sort of history, the history of photographs to document again the lives and history of travellers around Cork and County Cork. This cruise was made by a group of travel women from uh, Mallow who we would have invited up to different things uh, connect, connected to the, the, the barrel-top wagon and the wagon room, which was downstairs originally, but they've moved us upstairs. And it, it, it's again a sort of um, a depiction of their experiences as travellers with this as a central piece because religion is just so important to Traveller, well, the old, definitely the older, uh, the older generation of travellers. So they were delighted we invited them then to the launch. And it's great, it gives, it gives travellers a sense of, I mean, if you look around the room, it's, it's all information relevant to the work that's going on in Cork uh, with our, my own community. And uh, it's, it's an ongoing project. The museum, Stella, the staff here, are, they couldn't be more supportive. I mean, like, we moved, we, the men had to physically take the wagon apart downstairs, bring it up, and rebuild it. And all our stuff then was in the room downstairs. So Stella, the curator, actually designed the stuff as you see it now. So, and obviously she's good at what she does because it's, it is, it's, it's, it's beautiful the way it's displayed. It's a beautiful day.
Travel. Get once more. We're still traveling.